Good morning to all my friends and welcome to Jim's 5am club. Today I come to you from the beautiful International Passenger Terminal and as you can see it's a golden dawn with the uh, Opera House, the Sydney Opera House silhouetted beautifully against that early morning golden glow and uh, we've got a gentle westerly blowing through making sure that the day will be clear and bright and it's the beginning of another beautiful day let me pan around here and show you Campbell's Cove it's calm it's peaceful it's just uh, a beautiful beautiful start to another morning and I encourage you and welcome you to get out of your houses come down to the city and discover Sydney once again because it's absolutely beautiful. I've just noticed that uh, somebody has uh, been here a little bit earlier and have forgotten their keys. They've left the lighter there, they've left a, uh, a smoke or something there so it's going to be a little bit difficult for somebody getting home. <laughs> I don't know, I think they've probably been there all night. But uh, just goes to show that uh, we get carried away sometimes with the uh, beautiful view of the Opera House. And um, another glorious morning. It's going to be a cracker. It's going to be a cracker. It's winter, it's mild, but it's the end, end of winter. So we've got spring just around the corner. We've got the police boat out there just pulling out, pulling up a, a, another boat, just checking on him. Don't know what's happening there, but uh, it's good to see that the uh, maritime services are doing their job. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a walk and talk style of vlog. Let's walk back to uh, Circular Quay. As you can see, we've got a photographer making the most of uh, this beautiful dawn as well. So what I want to talk to you about today is a topic which I've got near and dear to my heart. And it's a saying. It's a saying. And the saying is, you can lead a person to water, but you can't make them drink. It's a powerful sort of uh, metaphor, powerful story. But when I was working at Telstra a number of years ago, one of my managers was pretty smart and pretty funny. Um, commented and said that uh, you can't you can't make it drink, but you can. Uh, oh, sorry. Let me say it again. You can lead a horse to water. He said, but you can't make it drink. But of course, he said, of course you can salt its feed. How funny is that? You can salt its feed which is a powerful a powerful uh, remedy and let's uh, let's just unravel that and talk about that because what it's saying is that we're taking a saying or a belief that people have that you can lead a person to water or you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink but what we're doing is we're overlaying that with another belief with an empowering belief where we're saying that you can salt its feed which means you can make the horse thirsty so you can motivate the horse to eat or to drink by putting salt in its feed and by putting salt in its feed you're going to make it thirsty so once you take it to water naturally it's going to want to drink that is a powerful, powerful, positive um, uh, um, story. And it's the sort of thing that uh, a positive thinker, a motivational person would come up with. Um, I remember that one now. I remember who it was. His name was Eddie. I forget his surname, but he was a senior salesperson who ran the, uh, the sales team there at uh, Telstra. Here we are, we've got another starter, 
we've got the first run, the first run of the Queenscliff. The Manly Ferry is just pushed off from uh, wharf number three and is greeting, greeting in the morning and starting its run to Manly. It'll go back and forward many times. I think there are about three ferries, three or four ferries. There's the Queenscliff, the Freshwater, the Collaroy. I don't know which other ones they are. I'll try and uh, learn their names and bring you photos of them and pictures of them over the next few weeks if I'm still around working in the city. But there you go. You got the uh, the uh, Queenscliff heading off with the uh, beautiful Opera House silhouetted there in the background. A building that was despised back in the mid 60s was much hated, it was too modern, it was designed by a foreigner and it was considered to be just too modern for Sydney, for the conserv conservative Sydneyites. But now, after many many years have passed, after a generation has passed away, it is considered one of the most beautiful buildings in the world. It's amazing how times change how our tastes change and how basically our tastes evolve and now it's part of our history it's no longer something new something foreign something different it's something which is uh, part of our, our our identity and people come from all over the world to see the beautiful opera house there we are we've got the ferry there just turning and just going into the sun, into the sunrise. I'll try and get on there one morning and uh, ride the ferry into the sunrise. I think that would be a, that would be a beautiful way to start the day, and I encourage you to do the same. Anyway, so let's get back to our little uh, chat. So you can't lead a horse to water and make it drink, but you can salt it, feed, and you can influence. You can influence the outcome, you can influence the horse, you can motivate the horse to uh, drink by being, um, by planning ahead. So I guess uh, in our lives we can make a lot of differences to a lot of people by planning ahead. I know as a parent I learned that uh, you need to, to be two or three, three years ahead of your children and to plan things ahead of time, to encourage them to move in a direction which uh, suits you and also suits them. Because uh, as parents, what we want to do is we want to uh, maximize our children's talents and for them to reach their potential. potential. There's nothing worse, I guess, as a parent than having children who never, never reach their potential. I think that would absolutely eat parents, you know, would be eating parents away. Just having uh, children who they know, the parents know that the, the children have tremendous potential, but they never reach their potential, either through laziness, either through uh, lack of application, or uh, lack of motivation and, enc and encouragement. So we need, as parents, to salt their feed. We need to uh, remind them of uh, what they're good at. We need to encourage them. We need to help them visualize the future and not to feel as if things are too hard to do or impossible. The big lesson that I've learned in life is that we overestimate what we can do in one year but dramatically underestimate what we can achieve in 10. We can do so many things in 10 years and it's an important lesson to pass on to children to let them know that in 10 years time, they will have so much more experience, so many more uh, skills that they will be able to achieve whatever they dream of. So as parents, as leaders, 
we need to encourage, we need to embolden, and we need to teach the new generations to, uh, to look forward with positivity and to, uh, to be like our, our forefathers, the people who put together designs like the Opera House, even though it didn't seem right back there and then, with time, it was now, as is now, is considered to be a brilliant, brilliant decision. Look how beautiful that opera house is, silhouetted against that golden dawn. You just can't get sick of that image. It's just absolutely beautiful. And such an icon iconic Australian image now. Anyway, let's continue our walk and talk. So let's finish off with a positive affirmation. I'm alive, I'm well, and I feel absolutely great. To my friends and family, wishing you all the best. Stay connected, stay relevant. And uh, let's, let's remember to, uh, to lead, lead the horse to water, lead our children to the future. But also remember, to salt their feed, to encourage them, to motivate them, and you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised with what they're able to come up with because everybody has the potential to do many things in their life. And as parents, one of our key roles and responsibilities and accountabilities is to achieve the most we can in our lives, but also to help our children and the people around us to achieve their dreams and goals. Wow, how beautiful is that? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm here. Take care everybody and until tomorrow, 5 a.m. I'll see you again, don't know where, but I'll be coming to you from another special place in Sydney and hopefully I'll be bringing you another empowering message and uh, something to uplift you uplift me and something where we both can benefit and both grow from. Take care and bye for now.